Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a project time plan with a Gantt chart in Smartsheet. So let's dive in. So go to my workspace and in the top right, I click on Create. So choosing that and from here, I'm going to choose Project. So it opens up the choice. I'm going to give it a name called Refurb in this case and click OK. It adds it to my area. And so if I click on that refurb item, you can see I have the bare structure of a project time plan already created for me. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I have a list of tasks I have in a different sheet. So I'm going to copy those and paste them in. So added the items in, in this case. And what I want to do is I want to start playing around with the formatting a bit. So you can see I've just dragged it across to make the column a bit wider. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a bit of a hierarchy. So what are the pre-works tasks? What are the tasks to conduct the works? So I'm going to click on indent and to prepare it for the ready for viewings, indented there. So other things which I want to do now is I'm going to start doing a bit of color coding. So I'm going to collapse here in this way so I get the headings to stand out more. I'm going to highlight them click on formatting and I'm going to one go to the this area here I'm going to color them gray make it bold and then I'm going to expand the lot and you can see how it's easier now the text isn't wrapping so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the dots again and ask it to wrap text and then you can see that's happened there so what else am I going to do so from the project plan if I want to now um, add in durations. I can put this in manually and so for duration I can put 0.5 of a day or I can put you know one of a day here. Um, in this case the that's going to take less than that so that's 0.5 and again I'm going to add in sort of remove furniture and put 0.5 of a day. Oops that's five days I'm going to put 0.5 of a day in here. So for the other tasks I've got this uh, listed elsewhere so I'm going to copy this information and paste it in so confirming works onwards paste these in and these are added to the list as we see let's just make a duration that doesn't need to be so wide there we go and again for this task what I can do is I can start adding in dates so I put in today's date and there we go and it starts listing them out so what's the date for this one and then the next one is that going to be today as well so you can see the task starts going in, remove furniture. So again, I could put today's date for, for all these tasks, for example. So let's just show you that. So if I put in the, that date for all the tasks, here we go. You can see that's not looking like a very effective plan as it currently stands. So what I need to do is start adding in the predecessors. In this case, I'm going to add in the predecessor to, so to complete the refresh, fresh works assessment, I need to have cleaned the property, which is task number two. So I didn't two and you can see it starts moving out here and then to remove the furniture again I want that to happen after I've done the refresh works assessment so I'm going to add in next one above you can start seeing the, the dependencies are coming in so these I have set up now previously so I'm going to copy and paste these in from a different sheet so down we go and then for the bottom ones again copy and paste these in so added it in and final one 19 there we go so in very quick terms that's a way that you can create a project time plan you can then start assigning people into the column here you can start filling out the percentage complete the status etc but at a very quick glance there you have a time plan you can start seeing the critical path listed on it up the top you can create a baseline for example so if i can set a baseline here i can set the baseline and it will then say any changes to these dates will be recorded. So if I now decide that this is going to take me four days, for example, you can now see the whole time plan has moved, has moved out and the original dates are listed here. So at a quick view, that's how quick and easy it is to set up a project time plan in Smartsheet. And again, incredibly powerful. And with this, you can then change the views do you want in terms of when they're set up, you can see the card views. So tasks that are not started in progress complete. Again, I haven't filled those out yet, so they're not showing. 
So you've got the different views there, calendar view, so you can see that time plan and calendar, um, and you can see it just as a listed without the Gantt view. But typically you're doing this because you want the Gantt chart view. So there you have it. Trust that's been useful. A very quick whistle stop tour on how to create a time plan in Smartsheet. Hope that's been useful. More videos on the project management side of things to follow. Thanks for watching. This has been Rich Coles at Productive Project Solutions.